Today we're going to use watercolor paints to finish our Vincent van Gogh Starry Night Sky. The first thing that we're going to do today is make sure that we have all of our oil pastel lines finished. If you have some areas of white, then you could use an oil pastel to fill in those areas with lines. Remember, we're not coloring it in all the way. We're only using lines for this project. We really talked a lot about using dashed lines because that is what Vincent van Gogh did to give his nighttime sky kind of a twinkling look. Like the stars are just twinkling in the sky. Now when our pastels are all complete, we're going to start thinking about using light and dark colors. We want to use light colors like yellow and white for the stars and moon to make it look like they're shining. And then we'll use darker colors such as blues and purples for the sky around the stars. So for this project, I'm actually going to start with the lighter colors first. I'm putting a puddle of water into my yellow, giving it a tickle. And then I'm going to paint my stars. Kind of like circle shapes, I guess. And some of my circles might be large, some might be small. And you're going to notice that your oil pastel is not covered up by the paint. That's called watercolor resist. The oil pastel resists the paint, it will not let it be covered up. And color my moon with a light color so it looks very shiny. Add a little more water to my yellow when it runs out. So I'm going to be using a lot of yellow. And I'm being gentle with my brush. If my brush is making a lot of noise, making that scraping sound, psh, 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 that means either I'm pushing too hard with it or I need more water in my paint. So make sure that your brush has a good hair day the whole time today. When my stars are all painted, I'm going to rinse out my brush and I'm going to start using some darker colors to fill in the rest of my sky. Now this part's going to be a little tricky because when I have my blue next to my yellow puddle, I do not want those two colors to mix together. If my blue and yellow mixes together, it's going to be hard to see those shining stars. So I'm going to use a little trick as I paint. When I want to paint this swirl, I'm going to leave a little tiny bit of white in between my yellow moon and my blue swirl. That little tiny bit of white paper is going to keep the two colors separate. If I bump my blue paint into the yellow, that's when the two colors might mix. So sometimes what I like to do is I sort of outline my yellow paint first, being really careful to leave that little bit of white. this. And then after I've outlined it, then I can kind of go back and add some more colors. I don't have to be as careful after I outline. And sometimes I might even want to mix colors. Like I might take some of this dark purplish pink color and I might mix some of that into my blue on purpose. So sometimes we do want our colors to mix, but sometimes we don't. So I'm just going to keep on painting until my whole sky is filled up with dark colors, being very careful not to get my dark colors mixed into my yellow, because then my stars will disappear.
When my whole sky is filled in, I might double check and see if I need any more blending. Like maybe here. Maybe I want to add just a little more of the purple in some spots. Not too much blending, but you know, just in some special areas. If I blended all the colors together, I might get like a blobby brown color. And I don't want a brown sky. So I'm just going to do a little bit of blending. And when I have all my white space filled in, then it's complete. The only white space that's left might be a tiny bit in between our stars and our sky. That little white area that we left to keep it from mixing.